What's going up everyone? Welcome back to day 12. I am so excited that I have just a few days left and I can go back out into the real world and see patients again and be around my friends again and go to the gym again and all of these different things. I absolutely love the 12 days so far and I'm looking forward to the next two as the end of my staycation, if you will, because I've truly had the time to slow down, reset, relax, rebalance, and look within and foster my own growth. Today was a really cool day because this morning I presented a case presentation to the Florida Osteopathic Medical Association on the barriers to using osteopathic manipulative treatment. For those that don't know, I'm in an osteopathic medical school and what that means is in addition to just the medicine side behind it, we look at patients from a holistic view. We're also trained how to use our hands and no, not just simply crack someone, although yes, we can do that, but also use so many other techniques that achieve everything from the muscular system to the skeletal system to helping with headaches and helping with heart issues and circulation and things like that. So I proposed some things that we can do to truly help decrease the amount of confusion surrounding osteopathic manipulative treatment and it went really well. So I'm excited to hear back what they think whenever they decide to release the data. Outside of that, I continue to learn about the fundamentals of investing, but I really went back to the TEDx videos because I really enjoy watching them and there are so many amazing speakers out there. One thing that really hit me is that, you know, we're all born with a unique ability or abilities rather. And I've talked about that a little bit yesterday about really in tuning with who you are as yourself and being your genuine and authentic self. But here's the other thing I thought of, you know, I spoke speak to some friends and I watch some shows and everyone's like, oh wow, Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos or this guy or that woman and this person and that person and they've achieved so much, I wish I was like them. But here's really what hit me today. We're all born with discipline and we're all born with motivation and enthusiasm and all of these different things. Those people who achieve success are no different than us. They just chose to act on that discipline and that motivation and that enthusiasm and that drive. It doesn't mean that we don't have it, but for some reason we may be inhibiting ourselves from tapping in to all of those factors that we already possess. And one of the easiest things to think about is that fear of failure. What if I don't succeed? What if I let my family down? What if I let myself down? But at the end of the day, failures aren't failures unless we give up. Failures are there to teach us lessons. Because everyone, when things are going well, we're really not going to think about why they're going well. But when we fail at something, that lesson, should we choose to learn it, is that much more powerful. And we're not going to forget it because we're not going to innately want to hurt ourselves in the future. The other reason may be the fear of success. And I know that sounds really weird because, I mean, when I heard about it, I thought it was pretty weird too. But... The reason some of us are afraid of success is if we do become successful and we go to that next level, we may leave our friends behind who choose not to share the same passion and motivation. And then we may feel lonely. And that's just one example. And there's so many other things that may be inhibiting us. It could be friends and even family telling us that, no, you know, you shouldn't do that, play it safe. But at the end of the day, what inspires you? And if you haven't thought about that, and if we're one of those people that have a routine and our brain is on autopilot. It's totally fine if that's what makes you happy because at the end of the day, that's what you want to be is happy. But if you're not happy, think about what would make you happy. Why would you want to stay in a job that is dissatisfying for a long period of time? I understand that we all have obligations, but at the end of the day, what gets you out of bed? What gets you enthusiastic? What gets you hyped? And what can you do to feel like that every day? We owe it to ourselves, don't we? So with that said, take the next 10 seconds to think about what really ignites you. What gets you excited about life? What would you want to do for the rest of your life knowing that you're going to feel amazing every day when you wake up? Go ahead, take 10 seconds. And it's okay if 10 seconds wasn't enough time, but at least you chose to start thinking about it. 
And if you didn't, just go ahead and rewind the video. You can get another chance. But with that said, really take the time to think about that because you're the best advocate for your life and you deserve to live the happiest version of your life. But it starts with you. So with everything said, Day 12 is coming to an end. I'm probably going to watch another movie and pour some wine. Maybe have a Truly, although I'm running kind of low. And I wish everyone the best. Stay safe. Stay happy. Be warm. Be well. And lift others up. See you tomorrow.